welcome back to my channel in this tutorial i am going to be showing you the newest and the latest update in canva so let's get started the first on the list will be cut out image search filter what do i mean you can now go to photos and search for images without the background what you want to do is to click on this dot here this filter then you scroll down you see where you have cut out only you click on it then you click apply filter now you can search for example i want to search for man you see it shows me all images without the background so all of these images have no background and this is how i feel so excited this man right here is my expression i'm super excited about this and it is available to the pro and free users. Now, the second on the list is the shadow effect. You know, before you have to reduce the brightness, to go through lots of process before you can create the shadow effect. But guess what? Canva has now, has now introduced a filter that allows you to add the shadows. Isn't that amazing? I am so in love with it. So let us try it with, a, with an image. So I'm just going to search for a random image and say a woman. Okay, let's use a cutout. And I want to use this one. Now here's what you can now do. I'm going to reduce the size. Now what you would do is to go to, click on the photo, click on edit. That is right where my cursor is. Waiting for it to load up. Then you scroll all the way down. Then you see where you have shadows, right where my cursor is. If you haven't connected yours, you will to be together with the frames that, and you will need to connect it. Now I will click on see all. I've clicked on the glow. You can add drop shadows, you can add angle, curved, page lift, or backdrop. Now you can see the glow. Oh my goodness, this is so so nice. Let's go back to it. This is so nice. And this is a really, really great job from Canva. I want to go back. Now you can either intensify it or make it lesser. Just double tap. You can increase the transparency. And you can reduce it. You can blow it further. You can increase the size. You can even change the color. This is amazing. Let us try to change the color. Let's say we want to make it this way. Okay, it's taking a bit of time. It's a new effect, so possibly that is why it's still, you know, going back and forth. So I'm going to go back again and choose the same picture. I'm not sure why it's bringing up this prompt. But we continue. Click on the picture. Go to edit. Then go to shadows. Click on see all. Let us use the drop shadow for this. Now, this is the drop shadow effect. This is so nice. You can make it drop shadow. Let us try another one. Click on see all. Let us try a backdrop. Waiting for it to load. Now, this is a backdrop. This is really nice. This is no, this is really nice. This is so great if you're trying to create 
flyers. You can use it for your product flyers and so on and so forth. Now that is it about that. You can also try the page leaves, the carved. Let's try the carved. And there is the angle, this right here, and the drop. So here the, the shadow goes to the, an angle. Here it is carved, page leaf, backdrop, and so on and so forth. To add more effects, you double tap and you can touch any of this. Now that is the second one. Now let us go to the third effect. The third update that is now available. I want to resize this. I want to reduce it. Now the third one is frames. You can now add frames to your images. Let me select a picture. This time around, I want to use a picture with a background. So let's use this one. Then, okay, let me use another one. I want to use this. Then I go to edit. Scroll all the way down and click on frames. You see, I have not connected mine, so I will need to connect it. And now it is connected. Scroll all the way down. Oh my God, this is so amazing. We have laptop frame. We see for it to load. All of these effects are still very new. So they're going to take a bit of time. This is so great for your mock-ups. Like you just want to quickly do your mock-up on your phone or you want to see how it can be done here before you move it to, to the smart mock-ups. Now, this is so nice. You don't have to start, you know, putting, going to the frame uh, elements. You can just do it, all of it right here. There's the Polaroid black frame. There are so many options. This is this one. This is so nice. This is a circle frame. This is the circle wire. There are so many beautiful options. Let's see this. This is so great. So those are the new and latest updates in Canva. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe as I bring to you new tutorials every Wednesday. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.